Hello and welcome to our first session on Unity. Unity is a game engine which is used to develop interactive games. Right from simple 2D games to today's cinema, the world cinema where we create artificial sets till that stage creating a complete animated film, creating the complete 3D film for all this purpose Unity game engine is used and we are going to dive into Unity right from this session. So, to very first thing we need is we need this Unity software and we need a code editor. Unity works on C sharp. So, the language that Unity uses is C sharp and to edit and write C sharp code we are going to use an IDE. IDE means integrated development environment and the IDE we are going to use is visual code that is visual visual code editor. So, the thing is you can even write the script even eh, using a wordpad, notepad or any other tool. But when you are writing the script to help you we call this as IntelliSense where if you do some mistake it will immediately prompt you and help you write the code better and for that purpose we are using the free tool Visual Studio Code. So, let us dive into and start with our installation process in this first session. So, to begin with let us first open the browser ok I have opened my browser here and just type unity 3D and the very first link it takes is to the unity home page it is unity.com. So, click on the very first link here and this is what the home page of unity is. So, if you have time you can just go through it and you can just uh, uh, see how this actually works. The very first thing you have to do is you have to create an account. So, for this purpose you see the login symbol here if I click here you have two options create a unity id and sign in. I am going to if you are already having unity account click on sign in if you do not have it click on create a unity id and now in the create unity id I will first enter my email id. So, I use my email id here I will type the email id and after I type the email id I am going to add the password. So, I am going to enter my password here. So, once I enter my password here ok I have entered the password give the username. So, I am going to type the username here. So, after I type the username so this should be unique and then I will uh, uh, now type my full name and afterwards I will just click here I have read Agna uh, you have to click on this ticks all the three ticks and then click on I am not a robot and then click on create a unity id. So, when I as soon as I click on this this is now going to create a uh, unity id. Now, the thing is I have to open my uh, email id. So, now if I open my email id in my email id I have received an uh, email from unity technology. So, if I click on it you will have a link click on link to confirm email and now you have to again test I am not a robot click on verify and now you are ready to sign in and in the sign in page I am going to enter my username or my email here and then I am going to enter my password and now if I click sign in now I have my unity id signed in ok. So, this is the very first job that I have to do I have to now create an account in unity and this account is free. So, already I am I have logged in now I have logged in now you have the option here download. And when I click on download here this is going to ask you to which uh, platform you want to download whether for Mac or Windows. So, since I am using Windows here click on download for Windows and this is going to download a software called as Unity 
hub. So you have this unity hub setup dot exe file. Now I will right click on this and click on run as administrator. This is not required. You can even click on double click on it and you can launch it. So this is now going to install. It asks for a license agreement. I click agree and in C program files unity hub will be installed. This you can install it in your system folder because this is not going to take much of a space. So you click install and this unity hub will now be installed. Wait till unity hub is installed. Okay, Now this is installed and you have this run unity hub tab already open. Click on finish and now unity hub is going to open. So once you see this unity hub, you have the sign in button with the credentials that you used just now using the same credentials that is for example, I am going to use my email id and the password of the account I just now created. I am going to use this and click on sign in. So once you are sign in, it is asking me to go back to open unity hub. I will click on this and now you can see I have create I have signed in. So I can click here it is asking it is showing me how to use this unity hub there is a tutorial I will just click got it here and now the thing is right now since unity editor is not installed it is asking me to do the installation but right now I will skip the installation here and I will agree for a personal agree and get personal edition license it is saying so I will agree and click on this. See if I click on choose another plan this will open in the window and here you can see various uh, unity plans available. See for example, this will cost you $2000 and this is a unity pro license and for student and hobbyist you have one student version and personal version. So you can use any one of them and actually you have another one enterprise. So do not worry you can easily go with the free version you need not go for the paid pro version you click on agree and get personal edition license you just click on this and now the thing is your unity will be activated now. So it is saying that now uh, you can change the tar, uh, this thing uh, theme and other things it is saying you click maybe later here and now in this unity hub you have four tabs one is the projects one is installs learn here you can learn a lot of tutorials are available here and then the community. So you have this four assets and here I am now first going to go into install ok. Now when you are doing the install before I start doing the install here one thing you should remember is this unity is a very big program. And when you do the install, if you by default install it as it is, it goes and gets installed on your C drive. Say you are using a laptop and in your laptop you, it is just a 128 GB laptop or 256 GB SSD laptop and if 20 GB, 25 GB goes away for unity, it will be very difficult for you to work. So if you want to save space on your C drive, the thing what you have to do is unity hub is a small software you can install it on your system drive. But for the project and the editor you have one settings button here preferences click on the preferences and here you have path for projects and install and this is where I can set my location. So what I am going to do is now I will come to installs and instead of installing it in my C drive. I will click on this folder and I will browse to some other folder where I have space say for example I will go to D drive here and I am going to name this as unity I will give it the name as unity and in this unity I will double click it and I am going to select this folder and for download location if you does not have space on your system drive this also you can set it to some other location. So right now I have sufficient space so I can use the download location as my own temp file in my C drive. And another thing is now after this 
for all project files what is the location you are going to use. So, here I am going to click here and I am going to save all my project files in E, e drive and in E drive I am going to create a folder called unity projects unity underscore projects and in this E drive I am going to place all the projects that I am going to build. So, like this you can customize your project folder and the install folder ok. So, now your unity editor is in D unity and all your project files will be in E unity projects. So, know the location. Now, you come to installs and I will close the preferences. So, you come to licenses, the licenses is already activated or else you have to activate it here. So, I have the license already activated or else I have to now get the click on the add button and I have to add the license. Now, with this now, what I am now going to do is I will come back to installs, uh, I will close the preferences window and after making these settings in the preferences window, I will come to installs, I will click on install editor and here you have different versions available to you 2022, 2021 and 2020, we are going to work with the latest version ok that is 2022.3 f1. Okay, there are a lot of changes that is why I cannot use some of my old codes over here. So, now in this 2022.3 file uh, this version I will select it is also showing me as the recommended version I will just click on install and now in this install options it is asking me to install Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition 2022 to edit my C sharp scripts. Well, let us not use this, I will switch it off and the only thing I am going to on here is in platforms I will choose Android build support because I want the apps to run on Android phones. I will enable iOS build support and third is WebGL build support so that when I build an app I can build it for the web. So, WebGL is the language that is used to run your games in the browser. So, giving all these three settings, I am going to select only these three settings and you can see the size is set to 15 GB. Now, click on continue and it will ask for a license agreement. You click here, I have agreed the license and click on the install button. Now, the very first thing is all the files will now first be downloaded. So, this will take a lot of time because it is going to download 15 GB of data ok. So, if you have a very good connection it will get downloaded very fast or else leave it it may take half an hour or 45 minutes. So, leave it and wait till the entire program is downloaded that is entire software is downloaded ok. Now, the download has been completed and the installation work now starts. So, now the installation has started. Ok, now you can see that the unity installation has been completed now. So, once we have completed unity installation, now the other software before I launch unity, uh, I will right now uh, I will close this uh, unity hub, I will just close this install window and then the unity hub. Now, uh, I will now close this pop up here and I will come to the browser and now I am going to type visual studio code. So, the next thing I search for visual studio code and the very first link code dot visual studio dot com click on this link and you have here visual studio code available for windows it is also available for other versions. So, I will use the windows version and I will just click here to download my windows uh, version. So, that windows 64 installation. So, I will use the stable version when I click on it so, now the download has started wait till it is downloaded and once it is downloaded. So, now I will just double click to launch and install it. So, it is again going to ask for a license agreement I click I accept the agreement click next and here uh, if you want you create the desktop I spawn and all the options you enable it ok add to path all these options you enable it then click next and click on install. 
So, now Visual Studio Code will be installed. Okay. Now, you have launch Visual Studio Code enabled. Click on finish and this will launch Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, to use Visual Studio Code for Unity, you have to install some plugins. Now, the first thing I want is if I come into the extension panel here and if I click it and in this extension panel, I am going to now search for an extension called C sharp, C hash if I type you will get C sharp and you have all this C sharp codes available here. So, the very first one C, dev, C sharp development kit you have it here, you can click on this. So, you have this C sharp development kit and you click on the install button here. So, when I click on the install button here and uh, I will just click uh, trust workspace and install. So, when I click on it, this uh, C development kit will now be installed on your machine. See both the C development kit and C sharp, both you can see it is getting installed. And now, another thing is I am going to install one more extension called as Monokai Pro and this Monokai Pro is used for the visual coding. So, you can use this Monokai Pro and I have already installed. So, that is why it is showing uninstalled. So, install this to make the code look better. So, with this all our installation job is completed. So, now our next job is in the next session we will set up a project and make that the visual studio is used as the default editor for all the C sharp scripts that we create in unity.